Hello and welcome back to Average Joe's. I'm Saunders and the last time you saw me, I was doing something that looked a little bit like this. There he is, go, go to the floor. Should we on our left hand side. But today we're taking ourselves away from the track and to something that every Joe loves, and that's off-road driving. And with the discontinuation of the Land Rover Defender, there's a big gap in the market for a rugged, true off-roader. So we've come to Nazare in Portugal with Jeep to see if the Jeep Wrangler is the car to fill that gap. So we've got a true off-road route planned out that should really put the Wrangler through its paces. Let's see how it gets on. Let's do this. Yes, come on, Wrangler. Wow, I'm not gonna lie to you, that got pretty hairy at points, but to be fair to it, the Wrangler did very well, exceptionally well in fact, at conquering every challenge we put at it. So whether that's sand, gravel, rock, extreme inclines or even steeper declines, everything we threw at the Wrangler, it came back and said, yeah, I can do it, what next? So with that in mind, if you are looking to fill that gap of a true rugged 4x4, then you may not have to look too much further than the Jeep Wrangler. I've been Saunders from Average Joe's and I'll see you again soon.